Okay, this video looks at an introduction to telescoping series. We've been looking at geometric series for the past few videos. Now we're moving forward to the second special kind of series that you can find out what the sum is for. It's called a telescoping series. It's, it's one in which the middle terms cancel and the sum collapses much like a telescope does. You have the eyepiece and you have the lens and you extend it and then you can contract it and all the middle parts go away. Thus the name telescoping series. Let's see an example. We have the sum as n goes from one to infinity, three over n squared minus three over the quantity of n plus one squared. Okay, our job is to find the sum. Uh, first off, does it converge or diverge? Uh, if it converges, find out what the sum is. Both for geometric and for telescoping, you can do that finding of the sum. So, you know, the sum is equal to the limit as n goes to infinity on capital S sub n. Capital S sub n is the nth partial sum. It's stopping after n terms. We have to introduce this new variable, a counter, basically k. And so we go from k equals 1 to n. We add up a1, a2, a3, and we stop when we get to a n. And so let's look at k equals 1. Now, what does a1 look like? If you plug a 1 into that, you get 3 minus 3 fourths. If you plug a, a, a 2 into that, you get 3 fourths minus 3 ninths. You could call it a third, but best to leave it as just 3 ninths. And so what we have right away after two terms we have cancellation starting. We have the negative 3 fourths from the k equals 1 term and the positive 3 fourths from the k equals 2 term. They cancel. So here's how this works. The cancellation, you, basically you go up until you get your first cancellation and then, you know, this, this, when you, this is, uh, we have to add up these terms here and so we're going to stop when we get to a sub n, so what you do basically is if you if it took you two terms to get your cancellation, your first cancellation, then at the end when you when you add up a sub n, um, there's the end of it. A sub n is the end. Um, you're going to need two terms there to see where the end of the cancellation is. So um, a sub n is just the actual terms that are in the summation. Uh, when you plug in n minus one. Uh, for this term here, we have n minus 1, who then is has a 1 added to it. And so those guys end up canceling each other out. And we end up with just an n squared. And so that 3 over n squared cancels with the 3 over n squared um, that's in the n term. The same cancellation that happens, it gets mimicked at the end. Now here's what's going to happen. It looks like there's some other terms that are still around. But no, those terms get canceled too. You're just not writing out all those middle terms. You see, any term that has a counter or a subscript, basically, that's going to be um, higher than the than the k equals two is going to be used to cancel. Any term that has a a subscript or a counter lower than n minus one will be canceled out. Let's see how that's going to work. Um, you don't have to write this, but let's look at the third term, k equals three. It starts with 3 ninths and has a minus 3 sixteenths. Okay, so the 3 ninths and the minus 3 ninths cancel. We're not going to write the next term, but we know what's going to happen. The negative 3 sixteenths and the 3 sixteenths are going to cancel. And then at the end, we, we're not writing the previous term n minus 2, but it's going to cancel the same way those other guys cancel. There's collapsing happening. The number of surviving terms that you'll have in the beginning will be equal to the number of surviving terms you should have at the end. What are we saying? Beginning and end, we're talking about adding up the first n terms. And we have this collapsing happening. The middle terms are gone. One term surviving in the beginning, one term surviving at the end. Our job? Write down what this partial sum is, 
the remaining terms and take a limit as n goes to infinity because that's what the sum is going to be equal to if this limit exists. As n goes to infinity, that, that second term, the term with the n plus 1 quantity squared in the denominator, that's going to blow up. 3 divided by something that gets very large gets very small. That term goes to 0. Not that the limit is 0, but that one term goes to 0 and the limit is 3. That's what the sum is. Because this limit converged, what it means to you is that you're able to find the sum and we can state that the series converges. Later on, we'll see one where, where the limit does not exist or the limit um, is equal to infinity. And then we can say that the series diverges. Okay, um, so this video doesn't get too long. I wanted to do a second example, but let's go ahead and cut this video and we'll make another video.